so we are here back and we're gonna show you what the setup looks like too so first there is boot boot to memory boot in verbos mode boot the existing system um mem test mem test i thought said rem test for a second void verification and a reboot we're gonna do verbos so you know what it looks like So as you can see, there's a lot of text out of nowhere. Just random text, talking about stuff. Before it just boots up the startup, like we something, I don't know. Stuff about Plymouth, and what's Plymouth? I have no idea what that is. And it just welcomes you. And it failed to load kernel modules, which is very unfortunate. And it gets a bit bigger. It gets a bigger screen. It's nice. Add this thing, which is extremely long. So I'll just skip that. Okay, that thing's complete. No idea what that was about. And then it's automatically logging in and stuff. And it doesn't look like a kernel panic, so that's good. So that means. It will automatically, successfully, boot up. And here we are. We're, we're in. Because our cursor is just like what it looks like. And most importantly, this came up. You can try it or repair something or just install it. We're gonna install it. We are already connected to power because, um, well, we are plugged into a computer. We are in a computer you now. And eight gigabytes of space on your drive. That's good. And connected to the internet. And Five gigabytes will be most importantly the drive for the system. Get my usual password and there. And this could take a while. Just like it said, so even if the even if the feels like it's a bit frozen at the moment, but maybe it's just doing the unsquashing thing. So we're gonna be a while, but first, oh, there was something there. But well, that was just just where it disappears, it's like a blue light. To show you what it does. It even appears in the on the like the actual system, so let's just wait. So it is now complete. Oh we'll control alt delete to get it working. And oh wait, there it is. This little thing. Turns out It just corners your cursor. You'll have to restart guest. There we go. <laughs> okay, 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 failed. We're in. 
really. Ah! Oh yes, I did get it right. Burn to some point out my title. this far. And let's begin. So this is the gateway if you didn't know. So if just press the if you're the super key is just the windows key. I click the windows key. And if you you don't have to click on that box. You just type what you want. Yeah, it doesn't work right now. And, uh... Press the point button. This is cool. I don't know. You can actually set it up to as much as how loud you want, even beyond 100%. 105%! Thank <laughs> you. 
that. I don't know what that is, but something. The way by far right there. No, I'm not going to open the way. Okay. But, this is bland, doesn't it? Let's go down. It's kind of hard to go down. Ugh, not again. Okay. Don't scroll down that little thing. Go to system settings. And. Uh. Uh, where is it? The wave, exactly. A big wave. If you. You didn't see the, like, the original, like, predecessor to this video. Like, basically, I, I didn't know what the person's name was, so I thought it was just a name for the wave. And I, I called it a big wave, and then I said, hi, it said, hi, a big wave. <laughs> It called me a big wave! <laughs> it was hilarious. And... There's a contemporary icon theme. It's actually there's more. There's more than just contemporary. First, let's check out the color schemes. First is the light color scheme. <laughs> My eyes. So there's blue, orange, weird. <laughs> oh, green. My favorite color. Pink. And turquoise. Kind of the color's kind of blended. It's the same for like dark theme, which is the main theme. Go back to blue and decorative. Oxygen and breeze. I'm gonna keep it like this. So the system font. There's a lot of system fonts to choose from. I mean, there's a lot. Why? Why do Dotto Sands look like contemporary? It's just me. Yeah, it definitely looks like contemporary. want that we, we want our most beloved contemporary <laughs> and there's icon themes like first off I'd wait up okay, it doesn't change till we reboot maybe we'll show them off later on We're gonna go back to contemporary. Why is there two contemporaries? Maybe one of them has to be like the new contemporary and one of them gonna be the old contemporary. Mm. Well, it didn't get updated since 2017 and the new contemporary was announced in 2020? 2020 something? 2021 or 2019. <sighs> and you can't adjust the screen resolution or it will act up. What if we turn this on? It doesn't do anything. I think. No, it doesn't. Yeah. What about the widget theme? There's windows! Which, obviously, looks kind of good because, fun fact, this is the classic Windows, like, style, um, like, slider, which is why it's called Windows, because it's from, like, version 9X or something, Fusion, which, oh, that actually looks kind of good, and Breeze, oh, wow. 
one step up good. I think contemporary is gonna be the best. What about high Now we're gonna... Well, it's kinda... It's actually... This is... Cool and all, but there's a problem. There's a huge problem. You can install app images, but... Yeah, I, like, from the internet, but you can't run them. Should. So... If you type... So... Uh, no! Yes, cookies, cookies, cookies. Let me go to, like... I think it's around here. Yeah, it's around here. I think. Wait a sec, hold on. Icons. 
the beat.svg just shows the original the beat icon before the new contemporary look. It's pretty good, honestly. They're both pretty good. Wait, contemporary cursors? I, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Anyways. It's okay. But there's a few more apps I didn't show. These have nothing to do with this just breaks. We have Bluetooth settings. It's under the name XYZ. And there's. We already shown Chromium and Dolphin. <laughs> dolphin. Uh, KD Connect Indicator. And actually, this is ha. I, I heard this is heavily modified KDE text-based stuff, so that explains why it doesn't really support uh, app images, and why it doesn't support the tools, the virtual machine tools. It's very sad. And KDE Connect settings, and I don't know what this does. Oh, this is like a, this is like a phone connection app. Some sort of cover discontinued. Not so supported anymore. I don't know. Called the link. Um, I don't know. Released around 2016 time. I don't know. Like tw just early 2017. It's like that. It's Katie Connect. Which is. It's no longer. The link is no longer with us now. And there's pulse audio volume control. I don't know what this does. This isn't contemporary at all. This isn't contemporary. Analog. <laughs> A QT test utility? What's this? I have no idea what this is. It doesn't do a thing. I don't know what it does. A QT for assistant. I don't, know what's, I don't know what that is, but it's like an assistant, like a help thing. It's got a question mark on its icon. QT designer, which is an interface designer, which has also had nothing to do with contemporary. Drag it around and stuff. Oh, and has windows, like, has the window style. Push button, push button, push button. Dot, dot, dot. You can make your own, like, little app with this. Uh, can you test it? Can you test? Test it. I don't know. I have no idea how to test it. But I have literally no idea. Um, QT4 Linguist. Don't know what that does. Sounds like a translator. Uh, it's just this is just a debugger. Redshift, which actually does completely nothing. And there's, uh, finally, the wave, which you already shown. And if you click speak, it calls you big wave.
problem with my virtual machine. I even made like a little sneak peek of it about like about how this is. It, it was one time even minus. And it says the shell's been on for that long and, and the system been on for that long. And look how high that battery bar goes. Look at that bar chart, it's just through the roof, literally. Your sound no notifications and mute. And what's that do? I don't know what that does. I kind of feel bad for orange for the orange one because I call it weird, like in the first one. So I'm gonna do orange. You can change the language to whatever you want. In there's four English, English, English. <laughs> but what if I turn off system things? It. I don't know. Uh. Reset the shell. Uh, we're gonna do that later. Much, much later. You can add a new user. We're gonna call it Test. And the password hint is all zero for four times. supposed to be at the top. Well, that's that's accessibility for you. <laughs> Gotta close that pass bench. It's blocking the gateways way. <laughs> yep, it's blocking the gateways way. all these icon themes but now let's show you 
all these notification sounds all the time. I like echo and upside down, but the triple ping is just okay. Okay. But also I'd like to show you all the non-creative comments things. Um, playing in the dark. Ice cream truck, which I showed last time. Set to default and you will be logged out. Are you sure you want to do this? <sighs> of course. Huh? That was it already? Uh, <laughs> and then... Okay, yes, yes, enable, use, begin. <laughs> Seems like. It back, everything's back to normal now, but orange is still here. Little orange. Still feeling pretty sorry for calling it weird, because it kind of looks good now. I... Oh, he's not calling me a big wave anymore. Very sad. Very sad. <sighs> I miss. Like, I. I've been going on for 30 minutes now. This, this. This rendering will be a while. But now. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. But first, I would like to show you. Lock. Is. I I like it. So if you drag up the unlock thing, uh, I said, uh, and then type in your password and unlock. We are back, and now we are going to ratio bye bye. <laughs> Now we are done. Yeah, we are done now. We are complete. Until we see another new thing or a couple other new things, we will be. We will be. Our 
internet. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but <sighs> all I'm trying to say is when we see so a couple of things I knew, we're going back to their system. Panic. Oh, come on. This. This is what happens when you end this. Yes, I would like to end. Done for. Oh, oh no, that doesn't look good. Well, I I crashed it anyways. So, uh, <laughs> do not, do not put the audio input capture and the mic aux on at the same time, otherwise you get this voice changer on accident. Okay, I found a bit of a problem with uh, the uh, the photos installer, and I don't know how to fix that. And. Uh, Basically, when you open the Photos Installer, it gives you the Slate instead. And the Slate Installer doesn't even work. But luckily, I installed the photo from GitHub and uh, everything worked fine. But well, not really, but it didn't really show most of my photos. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope that gets fixed soon. As well as for the Slate Installer. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>